And I know that like people are struggling really hard just to, like feed their kids right now and it's really sad and I personally am so blessed. I have a freezer full of food and I have a boyfriend who is an excellent cook. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. All right, let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. All right, this video is sponsored the house by Julia's Place. Yes, girl, okay. I did this look the other day. Y'all freaking live for it. So I decided to do it again. So I use the color Tootsie, this right here. Mm -hmm. I know you're shook. I know you're shook. And then I use this color right here, which is like, to me, it's like a little highlighter, but it's called a uh, Coro. And I put it on top. So it kind of just like made it like a little brighter. But um, I really like the way this came out and I'm like really shook by it. So thank you Juvis Place for sponsoring this video. And if you guys like this palette, this is the Tribe palette. If you wanna be like very specific, this is the Tribe by Juvis Place. I think it's so cool. It has some really fun colors in there. And uh, yeah, thank you Juvis Place for sponsoring this video. And let's get on with the drama. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Jaclyn Hill and how she has made a charitable contribution, a charitable most generous donation to the children of the world. Jaclyn Hill has, you know, we always talk about drama, but I felt like it was it was cool. It should be a cool thing. Talk about the positive things that happened. So Jaclyn Hill uh, actually donated a lot of money. I think it was money. Was it money? Yeah, I think it was money. She donated a lot of money to people. And I'm gonna roll you that clip so we can shine light and you know, I wanna expose the good girl. I try not to it be all about like scandals, but I mean, that's usually what y'all you know, like or whatever, but girl, she donated the house. But before I get into that, I wanna talk about the rabbit hole that I have fallen into, which is damn Tiger King girl on Netflix. Now, I literally was up one night, I was like, it had to be like around two or three in the morning and I was like so bored and I got on Netflix and I was like, what is this? Like it popped up. It looked interesting and I clicked it. I watched the first episode and I was just sucked in. Like I could not stop watching this. I don't know what it was. It was just like, wow. It was like the tiger cat people community has to be the most vicious community in the world and on YouTube because they're sitting there and there was like, well, first of all, hello, are you cool cats and kittens out there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like very that like these these people raise these big tigers and they start beefing and fighting with each other over who has the best zoo girl i don't know what it is but it had a lot of drama there was a very murder mystery and um <laughs> the, the my the, I, my takeaway was like ah carol baskin i hate her so much i can't stand carol baskin like that like i did <laughs> watching that made me smile i think it's crazy but if you have time, right? I've, I've been telling all my friends, I'm like, watch the Tiger King, watch the Tiger King. And they're like, no, no, no. And then they finally get it and they get sucked into it. And there's gonna be some people who may not understand it, like the first or second episode, but by the third episode, you should be hooked. If you're not hooked by the third episode, then don't even watch the fourth, just give up on it. But if you have seen the Tiger King and you know what I'm talking about, so I know that you're my people, okay? Leave like a little cat emoji or a paw or, or meow or something in the comments so that I know you're my type of people, okay? That Tiger King show, I'm telling you, I want it more. Like I want more. And then he goes on this whole tangent about like, well, was he set up? Was he not set up? And then people are gonna be like, he was a horrible person. And other people are like, oh, he's actually a great guy and blah, blah. I just think he was a very charismatic person. Um, it, I, I don't know, like it, it was some sort of um, like relatableness, right? I feel like everyone in some way could relate to the Tiger King, right? But then also some people, it just kind of got out of control, right? But I don't know. It was it's a very good show and I liked it a lot. Um, I don't have any like major opinions. I don't want Carol Baskin to come for me or anybody. I just, all I want to say is it was a good show. Watch it if you have the time. If you're bored, this is amazing. Like I want to talk about it because there were parts of the movie where I'm just like, wow. Like, first of all, like, wow. And then it, and then it like put these in perspective, like, I didn't know that to own a tiger was like $2,000 or something like that. And then I'm thinking like, well, is that what it was back then? Is it the same price now? Like, and stuff like that. But then again, if you own a tiger, let's just think, let's just think of it, right? Tigers, like they're cute and cuddly, right? But realistically, if you, you buy the cub, it's like what, $2,000, let's just say $2,000, right? You little baby cub, right? Super, super cute. 
but then like you it's infe infeasible feasible i don't know whatever it's something you just like don't want to keep around because it's gonna get huge like bigger than my head it's gonna be bigger than everything it's gonna be huge and it, it's a wild animal at the end of the day so i just feel like girl i think they sh i think people like literally if you have like a little penthouse or a small home or a little apartment you should not be having no damn cubs running around your house because them things are going to get huge and it costs like ten thousand dollars just to feed it in the whole entire year like it's just insane and then what really threw me my, the educational part that i took away from it the learning moment was that there are more tigers in people's houses than they are out in the world running around and i'm just like wow well that's not cool you know i think yeah that's like I, that kind of blew me right there. Was like, anyway, we're gonna talk about Jack and Hale. So let me roll the clip. Here we go. Roll it. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here and say hi and happy Saturday. And hopefully, you are staying inside and finding things to do to keep your brain and your mind busy and active. <laughs> we come up with some very creative ways just to keep our brains alive. You know the things that everyone's doing: puzzles, walking. <laughs> I'm not doing TikTok dances. That's the one thing I'm not doing. Um, but anyways, I just want to pop on here because things in the world right now are just so crazy and so insane. And it's just, it's weighing so heavy on everybody's hearts. I know it is on mine. Um, and I just have felt the need to try to do something to help. And I know that with all the schools shut down, there are so many families struggling so much right now with, you know, their children at home and schools not no longer being able to provide like breakfast and lunch for their kids. And, you know, parents are getting laid off and, there's, there's just such a struggle right now, you know, worldwide, and it's just so scary. And I want to try to do anything that I can do to help in this. And I have just been feeling like very heavy hearted over this. Um, sorry, Instagram cut me off and I always get kind of like confused when it cuts me off and I have to be like, wait, what was the last thing I said? Um, but yeah, I've just been feeling really heavy hearted over all of this. And I know that like people are struggling really hard just to like feed their kids right now. And it's really sad. And I personally am so blessed. I have a freezer full of food and I have a boyfriend who is an excellent cook and so he's coming up with all these new recipes and I'm not affected in a negative way when it comes to hunger and I am so blessed by that there once was a time in my life where I didn't know where my next meal was coming from and it was the worst feeling in the entire world and it just it, it's heartbreaking I can't imagine what it's like for parents right now to feel like they can't feed their children it kills me inside so I feel like if I have the means I have to help and I have to donate I personally am donating to nokidhungry.org um, because I've been researching organizations and foundations for the past 24 hours like nonstop. um and i just wanted to jump on here and encourage you guys and other influencers especially if you guys have the means if you're able to um it cut me off again but please if you guys are able to donate if you are you know a family or an individual who has the finances just to even donate ten dollars you know five dollars whatever one dollar you know just contribute in one way if a million people could donate one dollar it would be so incredible and magnificent you know and if you're someone who isn't scared about your next meal and knowing like that you're gonna have one you know just donate to anything anyone even if it's someone that you know or someone that you know through a friend and use venmo them you know i just want to encourage you guys to try to do something to help if you have the means um i'm like shaking right now i don't know why i never talk about like donations i usually just keep this kind of stuff to myself but i just felt like i really want to get on here and just say something um yeah that's it so I love you guys. I hope that you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourself and being smart in these times. And hopefully we will get through this madness together soon. I love you. On a totally different note, Jordan and I are thinking about filming a video together. Um, and I want to kind of like, I want it to be a Q&A, but I want it to be fun and different. And I kind of want it to be like a competition of like who knows each other better. So. I would have to ask him questions about me, like what age did I have braces? And he'd have like ask me questions about him and then we would like keep score, like a game show. But then there would be like a bonus round where it's like a speed round and we would answer like five to eight questions that are like about us as a couple. Like, how did you meet? I know that's gonna be one from you guys, but I want you guys to come up with the questions. What do you think about this? I'm trying to think about something fun to do because I'm not ready to do a makeup tutorial. Um, as I told you guys a couple of days ago, there's a lot going on in my personal life. I'm still not ready to open up and talk about it. It's very hard, it's very deep, and it's just, it's too much right now. Um, and I just wanna do something light and, I was saying something light and fun right now, just to kind of like get 
get on camera and do something just a little positivity in the world you know i cannot believe how bad my roots are you guys what really sucks is that like when i went into quarantine mode i already looked like shit because i was actually supposed to be in la doing a photo shoot on set and i was gonna be out there for a week so i let my nails go because i was gonna get them done out there i let my hair go because i was gonna get that done out there i let everything go and then it was like oh guess what you don't get to leave the house so i'm like hi seriously let me know how you guys feel about me and jordan doing like a little game show q a and if you're really into the idea of something like lighthearted and just chill and fun um then i will go ahead and post like questionnaires later today for you guys to let us know what questions we should ask each other this could be really fun i think i'm kind of into this are we really surprised at this point not really typical jack oh my god okay first of all Jaclyn Hill looks amazing. She looks super great. Everyone always wants to talk about her. Nah, 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 nah. She looks great in the in the thing. So whatever she's doing, whatever I think she was doing some type of like um, IV therapy or something. Last time I checked on her IG stories, she looks great. She looks happy. She looks healthy, girl. Well, um, but you know, I still would like to see Jaclyn Hill do a video. And you know what? I don't. This is. Th can we talk about Jaclyn for a minute? Like, I kind of feel like. The everyday life of Jaclyn Hill has to be like, this is just me, I don't know, girl. Sleep all day, eat a bag of chips, watch movies, talk on the phone, watch movies, you know, pretty much it. Because she ain't filming YouTube videos, she's not doing haul videos, and I'm just like, I just think, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like the quarantine stuff is is like, I'm going crazy, right? I want I want to go out, I want to see the world, I want to do, I want to do things, I want to go to the mall, right? And I just feel like, some people don't leave their house. So they're quarantined. There's some people who are, who are like, well, I was doing this. You call this quarantine? I call this like my everyday life because I just stay at home anyway. Like I think Jaclyn Hill is one of those people who just stays home all day anyway. Again, I don't know her. So I don't know. I'm just saying that's to me. She just seems like she just stays home all the time. So I wonder how she's living it up. But like, I really want to see more videos. I, I still am it. I know there's some people in the comments like, give it a rest. Obviously she quit YouTube, shut up. I, I still want to see her do YouTube videos. Like, man, you know? Especially now. But Jaclyn Hill should do videos now. Now that people want something to watch, they want something, some entertainment, they want something or some knowledge dropped on them, like something fun, I think this would be a great time for Jaclyn Hill to give back to her community and do videos for fun or something. I don't know. Am I reaching for the stars here? You know, I don't know. But let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you've seen Tiger King, all that stuff, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Bye.